well, I'm not the commission, so I can't really answer <laughs> no. for that. However, from our green perspective, we have had, for example, a green investment strategy already mm -hmm. for many years. Uh, the Green New Deal, all of those things we've been advocating for for many years. Um, and, well, you know, now Brexit happened. This, we can't turn it around. But this must be the last, you know, warning signal that we really have to change something. And, well, it's better late than never, of course. Okay. It is a possibility and it definitely scares me because um, France is a very important also member state of the European Union and if Le Pen wins, who is uh, promoting um, racist ideas, nationalist ideas, who wants to get France out of the European Union, then, then, then that's going to impact all of us and there is no running away from that. But I do hope that uh, it's not going to happen um, and uh, we'll see what May brings. Well, we have indeed um, in some countries a rise of the far right, but um, for example in Austria we've also seen that this is not an, uh, an uh, like you can prevent it from happening. Mm -hmm. It's not God given that there is going to be far right governments all over the European Union. Not not at all. It's just important that those people who don't agree with the far right you know, make their voices heard, get on uh, get out on the streets, get out to vote as well. Um, and make sure that um, they're not leaving the decision to other people. So it's by no way that we just have to sit there and watch and it's going to happen and what a disaster. We can do something about it and Austria shows that it's possible to win over them. And I think we Greens are also in a very important position there. Uh, again looking at the Austrian example because the, the green idea of an open society, of uh, a good cooperation with each other, is the antidote mm -hmm. um, to the far-right um, populism and extremism. And I think we have an important role to play in that battle. I love this last question. <laughs> People refer to it because they look for some ideological net or whatever. Um, but we have to, of course, combat terrorism and never forget why we want to combat terrorism mm -hmm. because we want to keep an, a free and an open society and we want to keep human and civil rights and all the rest of us. That is very, very important to remember why we're fighting terrorism. And uh, for example, I think it's, it's another example for why we really need the European Union, the better cooperation. Because often, you know, people might be known in one country, let's say Belgium, but not in France, but then they do a terror attack in France, and then we're all like, oh my God, what happened? And it's very important that we coordinate, that we share information, that we work together. And right now, this is not happening, especially, or at least not happening enough. You know, member states or like police authorities or whatever keep, keep their information for themselves. They're not willing to share them with other member states. This is ridiculous. We need the European cooperation also to be able to address uh, the terrorism issue. Yeah, but also uh, the, the terror attacks uh, dis, uh, dismantle the bonds between society. Exactly. You see a Muslim right now and uh, if he wears a niqab, you say... But that's why it's very, I mean, it's very it's important very to important. remember why we need to fight terrorism. And it's extremely important not to uh, discriminate people and not to, f you know, do what right-wing politicians do mm -hmm. and say, you know, we have a Muslim problem. We don't. We have a problem, of course, with terrorists, but I don't care what religion a terrorist has. You need to, of course, look at backgrounds, how people end up there and, you know, what's the net, what's the structures and so on. Um, but it's not, um, you know, it's, it's still a terrorist. Terrorism is a crime. It's a severe crime.